Today's tutorial is photo retouching using frequency separation. This technique, frequency separation, what it does is it separates the tones and the colors from an image and separates that from the textures of an image. Now the reason why we do that is that we can edit either the texture or the tone separately and it should make for a better look and give us a little bit more control when we're doing our photo retouching. So here's the image we're going to use. We're going to use this image. It's a high quality image. Um, what we're going to correct in this image are the blotchy areas that are on her face, around her cheeks, her nose, forehead, and chin. And uh, by, by using frequency separation, we can correct those blotchy areas, but we can still maintain the skin texture that's underneath. And once we're done with this particular tutorial, our final image should look something like this. And if you notice, the skin texture is still in place. However, the correction has been made in the, in the, in the um, blotchy areas and it makes for a whole better look. So why don't we jump into Photoshop. Here's our original. And our first step is to make two copies of this original layer. You can use Command J or Control J on a PC. Just hit that twice and you'll get two images, two additional images. I'm going to call this middle image tones and I'm going to call the other image textures. And I'm going to shut off the textures layer and we'll work on the tones layer. So what we want to do to get this blotchiness taken care of is we have to blur it. And we're going to use a Gaussian blur to, to blur this, this, um, this blotchiness around her face. And you go to Filter, Blur, and then select Gaussian Blur. I'm going to move it all the way to the left so there's nothing applied right now. And what I'm going to do now is slowly move the slider to the right. And as I move it to the right, you'll start to notice that a blur is applied to the image. And what you want to do is you want to get enough blur in there that you're hiding as best you can the, the blotchy areas without going too far. This is like going too far. So let's, let's see if we get somewhere like right about there where we can still see the image but we're blurring out the, the blotchy areas. So I'm going to hit OK and then I'm going to go to my texture layer. I'm going to turn that on and I'm going to go to image and then I'm going to say apply image and I'm going to apply the tones image to, to this texture image and then subtract it out. And the reason why we're applying and subtracting is because we want to keep those, those images separate. We want to keep the tones separate from the textures and using the subtract blending mode will help us do that. So in your drop down here for layers, so make sure you select tones, then hit subtract and hit OK. And what you're left with is something that looks like a, a high pass filter. And what you, what you need to do is change the blending mode of the textures filter from normal, which is, which is the default, to linear light. And once you click linear light, you can actually see the image. So the combination of the textures layer and the tones layer basically give you your original. And uh, this is where we're going to start our editing piece. So I'm going to reselect the tones layer and I'm going to, to go to my lasso tool over here and I'm going to highlight an area, and in this case the cheek, that has some blotchiness on it. And what I want to do is apply a blur, in this case a similar Gaussian blur, to this area to start hiding the blotchy areas. But before we do that, let's, let's look and see what our mask looks like around our selection. So I'm going to hit the Q key, and if you notice there's a very, very highly defined line uh, between the skin and our selection. And we don't want that defined line because we want it to look a little bit more smooth. So I'm going to hit the Q key again and I'm going to go back up to my feather option within the lasso tool and I'm going to give it some feathering. So I'm going to move it out to about say 25 
and then make my selection again. Okay, I'm going to make the same selection. I'm going to hit the Q key again, but notice that the edge is now now very much graduated, so it's feathering. So when I when I apply the filter, it won't be as harsh. So I think that looks pretty good. So let's let's see if we can uh, start taking care of some of these blotches. So now that I have my selection made, I'm going to go into Filter, Blur, and again select Gaussian Blur. Again, I'm going to move it all the way to the left so we can start it out from the left and move it to the right. Now as we move it to the right, start noticing that the blotchiness is going away, but not the skin texture. All right, So I'm going to keep on moving it, and there we go. So as we move it to the right, you can see that it's taking the the blur is taking care of the blotchy areas but the skin tones are remaining so I'm going to hit OK and then I'm going to deselect so I can show that to you so here we go there's a, there's a nice correction that we made over here in that blotchy area so why don't we just continue I'm gonna go and select the cheek and do the same thing I'm going to hit filter blur and then Gaussian blur and let's see what looks good here. So we're so I'm going to select yeah, about 25. Hit OK, and I'm just going to continue along with the nose. And the nose may require a higher number, so we're going to go to Filter Blur again, Gaussian Blur. But this time we may move it a little more over, and we and we moved it to 63 and that should look okay I'm going to deselect that selection so we've done the cheek we've done the nose we've done the chin and let's do the other cheek and again same filter blur Gaussian blur filter blur Gaussian blur and 63 is probably too much so let's let's Take a lower number, that should do it. Select, and then we'll deselect, so that looks pretty good. Lastly, let's take a let's take a, a shot at the forehead, which is a, a bigger area. Let's see if we can do it in one stroke. So we're gonna do this area, filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and let's try that. So select, deselect. That looks pretty good. Um, so we've done changes to the to the tones, and so we've taken away all the blotchiness, which looks looks pretty good. So why don't we do a comparison? I'm going to just group the texture and the tones together, so to show you that here is what the original looked like. And here is what it looked like after we did the frequency separation and worked on the tones. So it looks much better. What we can do if we want it, if we think that these pores are a little too big, we want to hide them a little, we can go into the texture layer and we can reduce the opacity a little bit. So why don't we take it down to about 80 and we're just reducing the, uh, the pores a little bit. Let me just show you again. Here's what it looks like 100%. And here's what it looks like at about 80%. And again, it's a subtle touch, but it looks pretty good. So here again is the original, and here's our final image. So um, I think we're going to end the tutorial right here. This this um, this image is at a point where we can use it. Uh, and let's let's end the tutorial here. If you have any questions. Uh, you can leave them below. Thanks for listening. And if you need any other tutorials, just leave me a note. Thanks. Bye.